Hey everyone, I'm Josh Black. I wanted to start this video by telling you a little bit about me. I am a full-time senior concept artist. I've worked on games like Disney Infinity, Hogwarts Legacy, and Multiverses, and have been in the gaming industry for about 13 years now. I am stationed here in Utah. I'm a father of two beautiful kids and married to my wife, Melissa, who also happens to be an artist. Uh, today, I wanted to do a video on gesture drawing with audio to help describe my thought process on how to approach the figure. I chose this particular reference image to help you guys see how I find the line of action. Finding those large sweeping shapes and lines in the initial drawing will definitely set you up for a more successful drawing down the road. I generally start out by blocking out the head. Once I've established its shape and perspective, I like to establish the gesture of the neck muscles known as the sternocleidomastoids and show how they feed into the pit of the neck. This helps me to find the position of the clavicles and other landmarks of the torso. At that point, I can find the primary line of action, which most, most times is a sweeping line that travels from head to foot. Establishing the main action of the gesture. Then I'll proceed to block out the directions of the limbs, hands, and feet. You'll notice that I like to establish the ground plane illustrating the perspective of the feet and where they make contact with the floor very early on in the gesture. This is really important and will help you a ton with not making your figure appear to float or to be or to feel weightless. I find it helps to use a softer, lighter and broader stroke to get the initial lay in established. Once I've done that, I can use darker, thinner, and sharper edge lines to define the secondary and tertiary shapes and anatomy. This will also help to create a nice sense of overlap, which will add to depth and contrast in the drawing. I know that as a beginner, it seems like veteran artists are merely faster at copying what they are seeing, but really what lends to their speed is years of studying anatomy and studying how other artists use shorthand techniques to streamline the figure and design the shapes with appeal. Uh, this will help you with your speed tremendously. I strongly recommend that anyone who desires to improve their gesture drawing to do at least one or two pages of anatomy studies and master copies a day. I would also recommend doing a page of gestures every day to get the pencil mileage in and to create the muscle memory and hand-eye coordination that is needed to develop confident lines and design. As with most uh, performance art and jobs, there really isn't any substitute for putting in the hours or focus study and hard work. Not even the perfect brush. <laughs> can serve as a substitute. Uh, I remember when I started out, I thought if I just had the same brush as my teacher, I can match what he's doing, but that simply isn't, isn't the case. Uh, it can help, but 99% of it will come from study, uh, pencil mileage, and hard work. I think this uh, will be it for today. I hope you find this helpful and I will do my best to create more videos in the future with audio. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment if you like what you saw and heard today. Um, I am also working on some Gumro tutorials with more in-depth information about gesture, anatomy, design, and concept art. Uh, let me know if that is something you would be interested in uh, and I'll do my best to get those out there as soon as I can. Thanks again for tuning in and until next time.